We've got some exciting news about the Springbox future plans, and you're going to want to hear all about it. For the first time, Rassi Erasmus can look ahead and build systematically, taking advantage of the strong foundation already in place. With the core of a World Cup winning team still around, Erasmus is set to integrate a wave of promising young talent coming through the Vodacom United Rugby Championship. What we are trying to do right now is make sure we are where we were when we won the World Cup, that we still have our core things and still have a good base in terms of how we play the game, Erasmus explained. He's also keen on introducing new elements brought by the fresh coaching staff. We also want to start introducing what the new coaches are bringing, and we want to start putting that onto what we already have. It is important, though, that we have a sound base, and then we need to build from there. Balancing the present and future is key. I will always have a long-term hat on, while also trying to win the current games. For this week, the Bulls were not available. The Stormers were only able to train with us from late last week. Those Stormers players we have selected, like Evan Roos, are guys who have played for us before, so that was easy. He knows the systems. Erasmus highlighted the readiness of the young players, noting their prior involvement with the team. Sacha Feinberg Mangomazulu was also part of an SAA tour before he got injured. He spent a lot of time on that trip training with the Springboks. Jordan has been on our radar and he has trained with us for two weeks, and the same with Edwill. He also spoke about Ben Jason Dixon. BJ is a guy we have been looking at and has impressed us in alignment camps. He was with us for two or three weeks in Cape Town. We are looking for a guy like Peter Steff, someone who is good in the lineouts and can also give us momentum there and is also good at stopping opposition momentum. Erasmus is mixing these newcomers with experienced players to ensure a smooth transition. We are putting these guys into the mix with experienced guys around them. In doing that, we are not doing what maybe we were forced to do in the past by going in with seven or eight new guys. That would be throwing them to the wolves. The new guys don't have to worry about leading, etc. They just need to go out and play their game, deliver what got them selected. So how do you feel about these exciting plans for the Springboks future? Drop your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned to Green and Gold Army News for more updates and insights.